One of our top stories today, Simon Property making a $10 billion offer for general growth properties. We tracked down the most accurate analyst on Simon Property. He's Rich Moore at RBC Capital Markets on the phone with us now. Rich, uh, great for you to join us on short notice. Hi, good morning. Uh, what do you make of this deal? Well, I think it's something that, that we've been anticipating for a long time in the mall business. Um, you always want to have as many malls as you can, and this is a marquee portfolio, the general growth portfolio. Simon has wanted this portfolio, and we had a feeling it was uh, an offer like this would be coming. Um, there's a, a bankruptcy deadline at the end of the month, and I think Simon has used that deadline uh, as its own deadline to put out an offer like this. Right, to take advantage of that timing. How good of a fit are the general growth malls, though, for Simon? Very good. Uh, the general growth malls are, are mostly Class A properties, much like Simon, and uh, it would be an outstanding fit and something, uh, again, Simon has coveted for, for, uh, for a long time. Uh, Rich, what do you make of the price, $10 billion? Well, I think I think the, the the price is reasonable. We had a bit higher NAV per share for general growth, but we did not factor in the need to delever when we dropped coverage last January when they entered bankruptcy. So I think when you when you put in that uh, that need to delever, I think this is a very fair price. And I also don't think uh, we're going to see much in the way of other bidders. And once Simon gets into something like this, I think that precludes a lot of the other bidders. And as part of this transaction, I believe they've paid the creditors in full for general growth. Oh, that's correct. Yeah, the, the unsecured creditors would, would be paid back in full. Uh, the mortgage debt has mostly already been worked out, so that would take care of the debt, which, of course, is the reason that general growth went into bankruptcy in the first place, is that they had way too much debt. Mm -hmm. So from there, it would just be a matter of how much the equity holders get, and, and Simon has offered $9 in a combination of, of, of uh, stock, cash, and, and then $3 for the, for the land business that general growth has. Uh, and, uh, Rich, I mean, tell me then, going forward, what does Simon have to do? Or does it have to do anything uh, with these properties from general growth? Well, for the most part, uh, they're, they're, they're Class A properties. They're high-quality assets. I think throughout the bankruptcy, uh, from some of the malls that I've visited, uh, the general growth malls, you've seen uh, a little bit less attention paid to the malls, so there would be some, some basic catch-up in, in terms of the amount of uh, uh, maintenance uh, capex and maintenance that needs to be done on some of the assets. But outside of that, uh, Simon would just use their, their tenant relationships, which are by far the best in the business, to, to tenant these malls even better than they're currently tenanted. So I think it would be a, a big positive for the company. Okay, Rich, we'll have to leave it there, but good to talk with you on this. Rich Moore of RBC Capital Markets.